Hey guys, Sick James here back with a new video and today I will be teaching you guys how to learn how to code using Hacksaw Academy. Now lots of people want to learn how to code but they don't really know where to start so if you're one of those people this is a great website for you guys and uh, so let's go ahead and check out their website. So as you can see if you go ahead into beta.hacksaw.academy uh, they have really useful information about their website and what it teaches. So you can sc uh, scroll down and you can see the features and how it works and if you scroll down again you can see the projects that you're gonna get to do if you enroll into this website and learn how to code and if you scroll down again uh, you find their pricing now the pricing is only $25 a month and uh, that's really cheap in my opinion because I have tried to learn how to code using Udemy and if you want to learn how to code on Udemy you're gonna have to pay a lot more than $24 because each course is maybe over $10 yes I know there are free courses on YouTube and uh, Udemy but they're not as good as using this website so uh, it's only $25 uh, and you have a 14 day free trial so you're not going to be expected to pay until that trial expires and you can cancel anytime so that's a huge plus so if you go ahead and log in into your uh, account I have already made an account and if you go ahead and log in into your account you have current projects so uh, the projects I am working on is a landing page and if you scroll down you have other projects so you have uh, a project on how to build a portfolio page interactive quiz uh, HTML5 video player a paint clone and lots of things and you really don't have to finish any of the uh, projects first if you are a bit advanced you can start with the uh, with the uh, projects that are a bit more advanced than the basic ones uh, but I'm gonna be starting with the most basic one which is the landing page one and that's the first project you get to do now you can go ahead and continue from where you left off last time or you can restart this I'm just gonna go ahead and restart it so we can get uh, I, I get to show you how it looks like and everything so on the top on the left corner you have your uh, instruction panel and at the bottom you have your output now this is where you get to see wh what you coded so uh, if you uh, t uh, coded a title or something uh, you'll get to see it here if you code a website you'll get to see it here on the output and uh, this is where you get your instructions and then you have your uh, coding panel so you have your HTML uh, CSS and JavaScript window so now you can drag these if you need more space on your computer maybe and uh, that's really nice on uh, that's really nice and so let's go ahead and get started with the first parts of this tutorial so so the first thing that we're gonna get to do is just uh, type in a title for for the website and this is the most basic one so you can just go ahead and start typing it so I'm just gonna go and start typing what it tells me to type now for the first one you can copy and paste but then you're gonna have to start typing the code so you really learn uh, you uh, so you can really learn so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, start typing so I'm kind of done with the first uh, code so I just have to type in a title in the middle right now now you can go ahead and copy exactly what it shows you in the instructions or you can get a bit creative and try to learn by yourself and just type in anything you want you really don't have to type in uh, for the text you uh, you have to copy exact you have to copy the code exactly the same but for the titles and stuff you can do it by yourself so let's say um tech genius let's just type that in and as you can see it should appear in the output now you can do this with any parts of this website so let's say it was teaching you how to make a website for cats and you can uh, turn it into something uh, that's more relatable to you 
and you can make it kind of your own and build it how you like it you really don't have to use the pictures that they tell you to use and use the text that they tell you to use so let's go ahead into the next step now it's gonna take us to the CSS snippet uh, CSS panel now what this is gonna do is it's just gonna add some kind of style to the text that we have now you can go ahead and type this in uh, but I'm not gonna do that for now I'm just supposed to show you guys how to use this website so I'm just gonna copy this now if you're really really new to coding and stuff it's gonna show you where the CSS panel is even though it's uh, written up here but you can go ahead and type it in I'm just gonna paste it in for now oh. So I typed it in and as you can see, you can see what, what differences it made. So it changed the font by just uh, uh, putting font and then it said font family, then it changed it to sans serif. Uh, it changed uh, the weight of the, uh, the font into a bold font and then it added a green border to it. So now it looks a lot better. And now you can go ahead and continue and this is how you really get to learn you make sure that you type in everything otherwise it's just gonna be a waste of time don't copy and paste everything make sure that you are really reading the instructions so you get to learn what everything is and if you go back into your projects uh, you can continue from where you left off so there's no saving or anything once you are done just uh, close out of the window and when you come back you can continue and yeah, that's really it for this video. I hope you liked it and I hope you really take advantage of this website. See you in the next video.